Oh, no, we weren't talking. Can you hear us now? Hello, hello, hello. They were asking on... Uh... No. Sounds good. Get we in. Let's do this. I fully expect them to play Queen Comp here. Um, okay. They recently picked up a couple new players. One of them used to be pretty good at Junker Queen. They've been killing it in scrims with it, so I fully run out on that. I like that. Beyond surprise if they play. Yeah, I saw it, uh, some pretty good Junker Queen the last game that I yeah. saw too. It seems like SVSU's just got a good affinity for the character. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Every team has one good Junker Queen player. Yeah. I maybe on this map they might try and play like a Winston comp. Dive is very good here, playing on a monkey with like a tracer, turn somber. Yeah, I feel you I mean. I, I definitely feel like dive is pretty safe on a map like this and uh addictive because there's just a lot of natural cover to play. Yep, especially like the middle high ground is very, very strong once you you can put if you're playing Ana, you can put a nade pretty much where they wrote. Can't get healed, they're pro. Right, for sure. A character I really like to play when I'm on Baptiste. Yeah. Because he's able to jump up to that little part up there. Shoot down and prioritize, you know? Yep. Quite good here. Verticality. And we're off. It looks like they're opting for a dive look here uh, with a Zen Kiriko. That means they want to play a little bit pokier and a little bit slower. Yeah, I like the Zan pick, especially for a character that moves around as much as you can, you know? Sometimes you just can't always get close, and lucky for Zenyatta, you don't have to. Oh, yeah, so that, that is unfortunately the downside of playing a Winston comp into Arissa with uh, Reaper. But it looks like Spartan comes out with two, and Sword picks up another one as well, so they end up winning the fight. Yeah, team kill right off the bat. We're pretty clean here. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of interesting. The comp that uh, Nazareth is playing is theoretically favored into it. Like, it's very difficult for a Winston to deal with a Arissa, a Iriko, and a Reaper. But if Winston can maybe just force out cooldowns, they can keep consistently winning fights like that. Yeah, I definitely see what you mean there. And, you know, he's going to be a little bit more safe than some Ooh. of the other uh, supports here. Winston's got Orb on him. Yeah, they found uh, their Hanzo isolated there. And it looks like they're just trying to run on the Zen. Monkey's going to struggle into this comp, but just about every other hero that SVSU has is going to be decently strong into it. It looks like Zen is running right at them. <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately, say, Reggie goes down. Pretty interesting. Going for Spartan some DPS. gets one pick. Turns out it pays off. Spartan Ow. with two. Let's go. Yeah, Spartan got up. three. That's, <laughs> no, that's a crazy thing about that, Zen. That's a Zen it? gap there. You just can't ignore Zen when he starts getting in like that. It looks like they're playing they're playing pretty well for Discord here. If you notice, like the Arissa's just disappearing. They're discording, the Arissa's getting vaporized, or they're discording a DPS, and that dis uh that DPS is getting shot out by everyone. Well, I love the critical thinking that's coming from them here because when the Discord is placed, they all see it and they immediately start taking advantage on whoever is holding Discord. Yeah, and actually it forced out cleanse really early. Unfortunately, Spartan does go down, which sucks because he has Trank. But I'd expect to see some alts committed from SVSU here. Especially now that they forced out the um, defensible from the tree. Reggie gets one pick, which puts him even with Spartan down. And the tree of life is up. We seem to be a pretty safe as our supports have been playing neutral cover pretty well. Dupe, dupe goes down. They're dragging from spawn. Spartan picks up one again. Let's go. <laughs> good hack here. And really yep, good there hack. There it goes. I get the double here. We'll get we'll geek it too. Yep, Spartan with there. three in the last fight. This is actually insane. Usually you don't get to see Zen work really really well, but the comp they're playing with the without a Lucio is not really able to get to the Zen. I mean Spartan is basically putting himself inside of them. But uh, normally when you play a Zen Yada, not really able to reach you because without speed you can just keep like backing away. 
Right, and if it's not broke, I mean, don't fix it, I guess. And with a clean sweep on round one, 100 to zero, looks like we're starting off pretty good. Absolutely. It'd be kind of awesome to see both of the SJSU teams go 3-0 tonight. Yeah, if, that, you know, that'd be something to celebrate. Hey, it might, it might happen. If they keep playing like they are right now, I could absolutely. Oh, without any doubts. And based on our opening here, it seems like we're running the same thing. Like I said before, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Make your make the other team play around you, Dan. So it looks like the uh, Nazareth swapped to Diva to try and pressure the monkey more and maybe deal with the Echo so you can eat the stickies or it uh, hits one of your supports. Yeah, an interesting pick for sure, but against Winston, does the Diva shield actually block Winston? No, Diva's, uh, so. Diva's DM does not block it, but Diva is just generally strong into Winston because uh, her boosters and her little guns do a lot of damage to him, so it's pretty easy to pressure out. Unfortunately for Nazareth, it looks like they're extremely desynced compared to uh, Saginaw Valley. If you look, Saginaw has the high ground, they're all playing together, and just one by one, Nazareth yep. kind of went up and got just like that four exploded. Cut off. Yep. There. <laughs> Little tea bag from Reggie. Reggie's also one of the people we picked up this semester. Um, he and Willie Awesome, the tank. Um, so I'm fairly excited to see how well they do in their actual first game. As it. Yeah, no, that's exciting to see. Something I said before with uh with the last group that I saw, that sometimes I feel like I don't even like need to be saying stuff when you watch these. People. Because the way they perform together just talks by itself. I mean, you can see how well they're performing together, especially in round one, 100 to zero. Absolutely. Like, if you watch Nazareth, right? The Diva goes in, and then everyone else is... Triple from Winston. Way behind her. Yeah, Will with three there. That's like... Once the Diva goes down, because she went in by herself in a team of five. Not really the best decision. Once the Diva goes down, the Winston gets free reign into that comp, basically. Yeah, I see what you mean. They, uh, there's a soldier swap coming out. I'd expect it to be to try and deal with the echo, but there's such an alt advantage that you don't even mind letting them flip over the point. Um, pretty likely they're going to try and pick out where the Baptiste is, which I'd expect to see Geek scout for here. And they get a hack off. They force Suzu and they jump on that target. Yep, and it pays off. Yep. Then alt here. Capturing point, I like it. Dead center, taking advantage. Keep a copy here. It's actually really good ult economy for them as well. They managed to take that fight, spending only two ults. So I'd expect to see um, they still have their primal. They should still have EMP. So they're probably going to go aggressive with EMP here and look for it on the Baptiste or the Kiriko. So if you look um what they did with neutral hack the last fight, basically they hacked one person, they jumped on him, they just discorded him, and then he died. They're going to do the same thing with MP, but it's going to be more than one person this time. Right, something I'm hoping to see too is I think that Sombra and Winston got some really good synergy together because when Absolute. you hack a lot of people at once, I mean, the enemies can't use their utilities to take out Winston like they would normally do, so he's just in there getting high damage the while MP. they have to fall back. The MP are... Diva <laughs> immediately comes down to the uh, from the EMP. They're going to have a rush visor coming in, it looks like, from uh, Nazareth, which is very, very scary because you have someone who does not miss and it's shooting incredibly fast. Yeah, um, look, they're going to give the flip over, which they should be able to recontest with... Um, Barton is currently caught. So yep. that'll be a little bit more time off the clock, but they should be able to get one to two decent... Right, they still got a little bit of time left remaining here. They just hit 60s. There should be enough time for Spartan to come back. Just enough time for probably one more fight here. Uh, there's a hog swap from Nazareth as well. It looks like they just want to be more sustained. Like they... Eva, as you saw, kind of got exploded after she got hacked. Right. <laughs> hog is just thick. He gets his... Uh, it's known as vape. His ability to oh, heal. Yeah. It's a... <laughs> No, I feel what you mean. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we still had rush. Here comes so the alt bombs. It's pure chaos here. No man's land. Death everywhere. Reaper alt gets two. Reaper gets three. Fortunate. 
Eva pick would be a good idea from Will there, but... Time here, last interaction. Oh, 98. Ooh, Zen taken. The ult there. Just get a little bit more time. Uh, oh, very stagger fight. If they can focus on a target, they get the Baptiste. It's a bat, bat for... We're still down one, but that's one support down. And if we can stall this out and focus it, we might be able to win here. Another one for one trade. I like the way Sombra's playing here. She's playing pretty safe, you know, on the teleporter when they know that interactions are getting tough here. Can't risk playing super offensive when Soldier gets two. Like this. It's just Echo up. The rush from Nazareth. That, that's Looks tough. like we're going to see a third point here. Yeah, it looks like the, the Reaper ult at the end was very, very, like, devastating. Fortunately, the D.Va wasn't really able to DM or put her defense matrix over it, which defense matrix just eats up every projectile inside of it. So if Reaper ults and you use your defense matrix on him, Reaper basically just wasted all of his time for nothing. Right, and at the very end there, I noticed that uh, other team, the uh, soldier, definitely monopolized on the fact that there was no tank or supports to heal, and he managed to get the double pick off there in the end, and then it's scary to be facing down DPS when you've got at least or, or your tank. Yeah, an uncontested <laughs> soldier is... It's really difficult. Because he can just play at a distance. And he'll heal himself over time. Oh, we get to see the queen. Lucio looks like we're pushing point wrong. Right off the interesting. Rip. So they're playing Lucio Zen here, which is a very, very interesting combination. Usually you'll see a Lucio Kiri because Zen provides a very low amount of healing, but it's sustained. So what you play for in this comp is you want to discord one person and explode them. You discord and you amp and you try and destroy exactly one person. It's really, really difficult to play, and I'm surprised they're pulling out with the Zen Lucio. Well, as it is difficult to play, um, I'm almost certain that it, it'll pay off almost every time you manage to make it work, you know? I mean, it's a strategy that takes a lot of team effort and focus, but get it, get it. They, uh, I play for a, another organization outside of Saginaw Valley, and the A team for that consistently would play a, uh, a big burst, and if you focus, you win. But it looks like they missed first cap here, so Azeroth's just going to get free push, and they're, if they keep staggering in like this, it's not going to be the best. Second life in a row. Swordmaster unfortunately gets headshot. Perhaps maybe we should focus a little more on group up game. Hopefully be able to take a full reset and Hogs already used the hook, so that soldier on high ground is gonna be a huge problem. Which it looks like Spartan is preparing to do. Right, and I was talking about this point earlier too, where when you're on a point like this with the way that the platforms are set up there, it's easier to look down than it is mm -hmm. up on them. Combat Ooh. is just really one sided when you're up there. Yeah, Geek gets a first pick on Bath though. It's huge. That's their main source of healing that's gone. Bastion ult comes out. Doesn't really get anything. Flushes him out so we can take control. Yep. Uh, Reggie gets one, nice. and it looks like the point's going to get flipped in Saginaw's favor. Yep, I like how they were all on top, and they all came down at once to cause chaos, and they managed to pull a triple out of it. Yep. Um, let's see. Your team, Azareth, is going to be coming in with a couple ults this fight, so it'll be really interesting to see how they deal with it. They do have Trank, which is a very, very good defensive ult. But we'll see how they end up playing it. They're going to have Rush Whole Hog here. Ooh, Geek gets the first pick on the, the Reaper. I, li I like that spot up there. It's going to be really difficult to push that Bastion off. Yeah, I especially really like the way SVSU is grouping up together today because even if like the DPSs want to go high ground, they just say, you know what, let's all go up there and we'll make sure that nothing just it surprises us. I mean, they're just making sure that if anything happens, they can handle it. Yeah, if you notice there, uh, Nazareth used their Kiri ult, and that's a late pick on the Reaper as well, but they used their Kiriko ult and they lost the fight. So by spending no ults and effectively winning a fight where the other team used one, the economy... The overall economy just swings in your favor. <laughs> yeah, like that's this, right. 
this, this should be really interesting. It'd be. Uh, yeah, this is the strat I was talking about where I just jump up there with Baptiste. It's such a good yep. spot because I mean, you can shoot over any of the walls you need to heal your teammates. You can get a good angle on the enemy team. Such a good spot to be. Yep. And oh, you got a Bastion on off angle too. They're playing this really, really well right, right now. They have to spend two ults to win it, but at 75, you're basically only going to get one fight. Right. There's definitely only going to be one left. I mean, by the time they get back, we'll be back in your 90s. Hopefully, yep. last interaction. Sure. Looks like we're going to have a window bastion here, hopefully. Um, not entirely sure what the other, what Nazareth is going to come in with, but. to push heavy because they don't got any other options here. Oh. There's the ult with the double. Nice. Yeah. Sick. Wow, man. And well, that's the they were ready to they, the team going. You know, I love that. They, they fought together as a team and they said, you know what? We got 90% on this point. They have Roadhog. They're going to push us with everything they got. And they said, you know what? Let's just build a roadblock and mow them down. They just put a window there and a Bastion. Entire other team disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I like what I saw from Spartan today. That I mean, on a limbs today, absolutely wild. And normally you see Zen played as like a sniper on like long range maps, but he was playing the most in your face Zen. I've... He was just going for the back line. He was going for the... The tank, like, yeah, I mean, it's it's the chaotic factor there. I mean, they they were probably expecting him to play long range, and then he's getting there up close, and they're like, well, who do we prioritize here? I mean, I got a DPS <laughs> running up in my face, but I also got a Zen kicking me around. Like, who do you choose here? Uh, who? So we got a escort coming up next. I'd be pretty interested to see what they're gonna. Azeroth is gonna pull out here. It looked pretty good on Eva Comp, and later on the Hog. Like that's. University, I think. We'll see what we end up picking and banning. I think they'd benefit from... Gotcha. Yeah, we were talking about maps uh, when Josh was here. We were discussing uh, favorite maps. For, uh, for... Have a personal favorite. Um... Yalta is one of my favorite maps to play with. I mean, I really like it, bro. Um, recently, Esperanza, my favorite maps. Okay. And what character do you play on that map? Um, really, I'll play Ana. Oh, man. Ana's so crazy. We were talking about support here in which best utility. And uh, honestly, I think Ana, in my personal opinion, second best in the game. I think or Baptiste. Or maybe maybe Kiriko. Because I think They're all so good. Because e each support kind of has like one big like E. Well Anna's kinda of got two with sleep and Nate. Like I could give her the edge for Yeah, I would agree with you. Except that power comes at a cost too. I mean Anna's one of the characters that has very little movement. Not protected, it could end bad. I usually see her pair like a brig or a Kiriko or Yep. Play a lot of like again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen much of a uh, brig with Winston, but I could imagine why it would be funny. <laughs> it's it's pretty good because you play uh, safer as on and Briggs packs. You don't really have to aim, and they go a decent distance. Pack your tracer and your sign through bubbles as well. Because if you play like a Kiriko and your or their dive team. Back here. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. What? What? Talking about favorite maps earlier. What would you say? In all of Overwatch, hand down, my favorite map is like that yeah. map is. Scenery is cool. I think natural cover is cool, and the map that when I play on it, I just get. Paired up. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I just do. I just do. Yeah, it's a really fun map. It's it's well designed. Like it looks cool. There's not much you can. Hit. Yeah, pushing cart on that map is just. Fan of the second form, castle. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um. I remember I got to play a Benyata where I managed to get a top left. Nice, like the little high ground with the mini. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, there's just so much you can That second point is so scary. It's so open. There's just nothing to hide behind behind except the cart. <laughs> Walking on the bridge is just terrifying. Especially as like a squishy character, because I play a lot of support. But I play yeah. flex support for um play like Ana, Bap, Q, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Which I don't have a ton of mobility on Ana or anything like that. So if I'm pushing the cart through there, there's a good chance I'm just gonna get shot and appear. <laughs> yeah, I, I exclusively play. I I definitely understand your pain. I mean, there's there's some maps I'm just a cart because you're not, or especially if your tank isn't healed. Tough. So it looks like they picked Dorado here. They're probably gonna go for a dive angle with like an Ana and a monkey. That's pretty strong on this map just because of how vertical it is. Really difficult for like rush comp, so like Reinhardt or Robotra get up and down as easy it is for. It'll be interesting because it looked like Agonaw was significantly better at Winston comp than. Right, that first round that we had in the last game was absolutely wild. I mean, uh, we were in there really quick and we were out of there really quick. What we were doing right off and I feel like we were warmed up before we. Started. I think we're getting it. <laughs> Perhaps. So about the strategies you were discussing on this map, what do you strategies? Oh, it's gonna be. You'll have look at it with two. You can do dive angle with a uh, big Ana. Brig, I have to have an eye. Um, Tracer, Genji. Just something with a little bit of verticality or mobility. Mobility is really, really good on Dorado. Other option you could do is you could play something really safe and just try and bunker down on the cart. Okay. Which, if you watched any of the Overwatch League, London Spitfire was historically known for forcing Reinhardt on the <laughs> they would run Reinhardt with a Baptiste, a Lucio, and then like a May Reaper or May Sojourn. And you were wow. really, really survivable and you'd play cover and make your Rhine push. Because it's it's hard for Dive to isolate and pick one person out, which is what they want to do. They want to discard a person, they want to dive, and then kill them. But you can't do that if they're all sitting in the same room. Yeah, something I really like to see too is um, what you brought up with those characters specifically. Uh, Lucio with Reinhardt, I already think is funny because you yep. got Baptiste in there too. You can force Reinhardt directly into their front lines, throw immortality field, and then they just, it's chaos and they just gotta back up and you can force ground with Reinhardt. I love about him. Yeah, if you uh, watch any higher, like, ELO games right now, most, more recently there was a Flash Ops comp where a lot of teams would play a Junker Queen comp or they would play a Reinhardt slash Ramon. But it looks like we're going to see a Sigma poke comp come out. There's another option you can You just try and control the high grounds. But this is... That's a nice shot from Bonzo. They're staying right off, but we take the tank. Yeah, if they can prevent the res, that's the um, fight here. You'll notice they're not pushing cart. It's fine. They're, they're playing to win the first fight, take the bridge control, and then they're going to push the cart. I really like that too because when you dive in like that, you're forcing them backwards. And as you can see, Moira is just chilling on the cart here. Forcing them back more means that when they finally do retaliate back, it's going to take them some extra time to come back to cart. Yeah, the two high grounds you play for on this point are that little bridge with the window behind us right now and uh, the high ground that's directly to the left of us, like forward and to the left. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that they won the first fight and then immediately pushed the the team back that's that's moira's deadly in condensed rooms man he got that orb it, it'll just keep going yeah if you notice uh we actually swapped out spartan for the core which is one of the new supports that we picked up this semester as well we got a total of three new players for this was, oh very nice uh, four four i lied sorry four um we picked up will Peyton, and Good uh that should just be the first point going over to Saginaw. Looks like trying to play poke, but fortunately poke is just 
not that strong and to die if you want to sit together and you want to like pressure people out but the goal of poke is to keep people at a distance and the fact that all the dive characters can just press a button be in your face <laughs> yeah is yeah i struggle with genji that. personally that's tough i really like what shakur is doing too like with the moira where if your teammates don't need heat, I mean, we're seeing tons of flanks with the orb and we're just picking HP down. I don't know if you noticed, but Geek, our Sombra, just hacked the Hanzo out of Dragon. <laughs> I did not so, catch that. Nice catch. Um, that's huge. Trading an ability for an ultimate is always good, but trading a six second ability for an ultimate like Dragon is amazing. They just yeah. have to deal with the Sigma on cart, and it looks like they're going to get uh, high ground here as well. And in a pinch situation, it's going to give us the upset because we're going to have one more extra ult, which could decide what happens. Yep, they had to use Primal, which is not the best, and we see a Diva swap coming out here. Um, even Winston are fairly replaceable. Not sure why they're swapping off Winston. Working, but you know what? I like it. They've got three minutes on the clock. They can do what they want. Well, my theory is hopefully they saw some sort of opening in the enemy's defenses, and I'm thinking, you know, Winston plays similar with D.Va, except, you know, maybe he found an opening where it's like, yeah, I can crack down harder on the defenses because D.Va's just got a little bit more power. Oh, perfect. Huh. All right. <laughs> I mean, I take back I everything I said. Reggie gets the first pick onto their Baptiste, which is huge. If they can deny the, the Valkyrie's, that'd be quite good. Oh, lucky. Okay. He did see uh, the other team swap to Reaper Sombra with a um, Sombra and a Reaper. Reggie with two this fight. Field is out. Good thing they didn't get to invest too much in it and make the comeback with both supports on their team being dead. It looks like all we invested was EMP this fight. We're already 80 to another Primal. We have both support ults. I think think they can push this all the way they're just gonna have to figure out how to deal with a grab up in the next fight or so okay oh will with the first pick onto their sombra here that's really surprising usually you don't see sombra go down first shakur with another one onto red nice. the rush comes out to kill there's the triple else. they just do not care they are in nice, nice. I like that. They were all focusing and picking them off one by one, and they realize, you know what? There's just a brief moment where they're all separated from each other, and Zarya they put the all on the door. <laughs> I just totally lost my thought with that. That's the, oh my gosh. To be fair, to be fair, he did dupe, so he's not gonna get to keep the ult when he when he transforms back. Look, they're pinging the Sombra, so they're keeping track of where she is. So even if she's invisible, they know where she is. Yeah, I like the free fires through the door too. I mean, if there's even a chance that you can reveal, if there's someone who can do it, it's Winston. I mean, his his attack is just so sporadic. Gordon and Reggie with two quick picks onto their uh, onto their DPS lineup. Moira goes down too. It looks like we're gonna see the full push here from Saginaw. Suzu comes out, but it wouldn't matter. Yeah, that's clean. I think we got it right here. We're about to face our last interaction here. Yeah, I can't. I can't see Nazareth. Really getting a good contest. Oh, oh two all the Blossom used. comes out with three. That is extremely unfortunate. Bloss Blossom and Grav committed, but it's yep. not the end of the world. We still have EMP. We can still win with that. But I seriously did not expect the Reaper to get three there. It looked like the Winston was primaling everyone in spawn. Yeah, that was pretty wild. If our team like groups up here, I think we've got it after all because I mean they had to use three alts just to be able to get that point back. Now our team is coming back forward with everybody in a five v five scenario and. Just based on what timings they use, their alts, ours are definitely coming in first. So I think just when it comes to last interaction, I think we just need to push raw numbers until we pop those alts. Oh, I lied, apparently. Geek used EMP that last fight, so it should be relatively neutral with no alts on the side. I don't know, I'm kind of losing track at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty chaotic here at the end. I mean, you can oh, tell both teams are fighting desperately now. Their Kiri gets an early pick onto the uh, Rasambra. Rush comes out from Sword. Um, fight should still be winnable. It's going to be tough, though. You're down a DPS, which is like your main source of damage. Yep. Reggie goes down. Thanks. Good last second save here. I like the falling back. Not playing with lives right now. He's going for this time. 
can see the Sombra setting up behind them. Um, they're either going to try and hack out a target and dive on them, or they're going to... Right, I completely lost my train of thought. They just used Rush there. Uh, both support ults come out from Saginaw, and that's wow. four quick, five quick picks. Like, And that's that, game. That, okay, for real this time, I don't think they can touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It'd be crazy, and nope, yeah, there it is. Well, it'll be... Uh, I'm interested to see what they're going to play on defense. Like, if, if you saw uh, Nazareth, they played the poke style where mm -hmm. it, with the Sigma. Um, see if Saginaw pulls out something similar, or if they just stick with the dive. Because it looks like the Winston with the Kiriko and the Sombra and all that is working out pretty well. For sure. It seems tonight that we've definitely kept the mindset of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, um, either way, I think... We're in the clear as long as we don't get too into our heads. As long as we keep playing like we are, I think we got it in the bag. Yeah, and you can look if you look at the scoreboard there. Actually, one, <laughs> yeah, which is 21. very very wow. nice for Moira. Yeah, the Elim difference here is absolutely crazy. Like I said, as long as we just stay humble here and keep pushing like we have, it should be fine. The Torb, they're playing Sim Torb with a Ramatra. Hey, I like this. I like this. So, Will the Tank was talking to me the other day about a strategy that he, where if you notice, there's a very small room um, right near where the cart is as you push okay. it out of spawn. And he talked about just sitting in that room with people and basically just juggling people on the point. Yeah, if you see it right there, um, that, that room on the right, you can touch the cart from inside of there. Really? So he was talking about just having a tank sitting there, or just having people play in there. Ooh. Looks so it looks like Nazareth is rolling out on dive, and Saginaw's looking for a set play with a nade. Get on the diva, will it be enough? Was that yep. a mech? Eight. Yeah, I think I think they're playing to put a nade as they walk. I'm not entirely sure. Usually you see an Ana play from the back backgrounds, like where the tank is. Mm -hmm. But hey, we'll see what we'll what happens. I really like what they're running here. They're forcing the enemy team here to focus on the players rather than the objective. Because claiming high ground, I mean, if, if they don't retaliate back, they're not going to have any luck pushing cart. Yeah, 90% of the time you're going to be better off playing for high ground or prison than just playing for the objective. Cause Realistically, right? No difference between winning the map with 0 0.01 meters left or 100 meters. Right. Holding them in spawn versus holding them at the end is basically the same. You get a better position holding a spawn. Like that. You get a better better position hold at the end. It's a good pick from Reggie there and a DMAC on the Diva. Nice. I like yeah. the way Matra Utility was used there. Couldn't fly away. Yeah, and the beam's going to be pretty decent against the Genji as well. His deflect doesn't really... They can leave the baby diva defect for a while. That's going to be quite good as well. But it's really useless. Out. Basically right. just a racer that can't move around. Well, more like Mercy at yeah, best. Like, like, can't like a around. Mercy that can't fly <laughs> and has three quarters the health. Shakur with a pick on the Genji here. That's huge. Yeah, it looks like... Nice, another support kill. This trip... Support... Fiesta here. They're, it looks like they're playing around Jaden. Their uh, Shakur. Um, they're putting TPs up to move their Ana around so that it's ne their Ana's never in the same spot. Because if you hit a nade, that fight is basically... Right. And the fact that the D.Va means you have to try and play around DM. There's the nade. And like, look, nade comes out. They can probably drop off high ground and fight here if they want. Yep, and Symmetra trying to get the pick off here, but it might not be enough. Ooh, Jake with a quick pick on to Shakur. Um, you see the Coalescence coming out, and it looks Coalescence versus Ram ult and Orb ult. Got to admit, Krata there with the ultimate. Uh, keeping Not only keeping D.Va alive, but also taking out Symmetra. Pretty smart play. Yep, it's a 2v2 here. See if Will can get out and they can still keep the base. With the Symmetra TP, everyone on Saginaw should get back relatively quickly. Yeah, it looks like it should be a pretty pretty fair fight here on the bridge. 
Alt Economy is going to be pretty neutral again as well. We have Kiriko Rush and Metro Wall, but not going to see much. Reggie gets a really quick pick on Soldier. That's the benefit of Torb. Yeah, you I was can really just kind well. of spam the Cheetos around and then <laughs> you might get a kill. Yeah, I was, uh, I was about to mention the same thing too about Symmetra playing the wall there. I mean, that's just so huge because tunnels in places with sharp corners, I mean, make so much of a difference with how you have to push or play. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult for them to push through with um, Eva as well because it... The Symmetra just throws up her turrets on the other side of the wall. EM doesn't really eat them. And as you walk through, you're all going to get just zapped by it. Yep. If you force offense, you're getting hit from angles that you didn't even need to before. So they're pretty much covering everywhere because the front line's obviously covered by DPS and the back line's being covered by turrets. They've if got we, pretty much everywhere on lockdown. With 12 seconds left, it looks like Saginaw's going to take a clean sweep here. They basically, they almost held them in spawn and they're playing the bridge quite, quite well. This is going as well as they yeah. And just like that, it's over. Beautiful gameplay. Second on it. So we're going to play Flashpoint next. My favorite map types. I know it's kind of weird, but it's a lot of fun to play. Like, it's just fast paced. You, just because you lose a point doesn't mean you lose. Right. Yeah, I get what you mean. The only thing I don't like about Flashpoint personally is it can be so hard to get back to your... Like, I feel like on Flashpoint as a mode, it's super critical. Like, stay together as a team, even more than some other mode. Oh, absolutely. If you're taking fight as four in um, Flashpoint, it's... advantageous. If Spartan comes back in, or if they're going to roll out with uh, the Moira Kiriko again. Personally, for the red team here, we play a lot of Moira Kiriko with like a Doomfist and a Tracer and a yeah. so a super super mobile comp. Because like you like you said, it's difficult to fight down people. So the more mobility you have, the more you see Lucio as a staple. We have a good field player, and we can. Gotcha. Normally you see Lucio if you have like a lower tank like that. Right, yeah, because you can get in there and his damage is just good. But something I noticed too is I really like the uh, the Kiriko Moira play because throughout what we were playing here in Saginaw, Kiriko's very patient with me. Um, this whole time I've noticed that like defend against alts or if almost using reality field, Moira, you just got the raw numbers. The team plays so well that we don't necessarily need as much utility, but if we get the raw numbers for healing with Moira, we're square. Yeah, like the um, utility on Kiriko, is one of the biggest complaints about Moira is the fact that they have, Moira doesn't have raw healing, raw damage. Kiriko kind of makes up for that. The other benefit is they're super survivable. Have you ever tried like killing a Moira? They just fade away, <laughs> yeah. throw a healing orb, and then they're 200 HP. I mean, you're telling me that's that's statistically my best character. I absolutely love playing Moira, and you can always annoy people too, like going in the back and just chipping damage off them until they turn around. You'd be like, "I'm out of here," and they can't do nothing about it. <laughs> See, the real question is, are you a purple Moira or a yellow Moira? I am a yellow Moira. Well, that's just my style of gameplay. <laughs> uh, one of the DPS players for our team recently hit him too as a Moira one trick. Wow. On an off roll, it's fantastic. He just flanks on Moira and tries to do damage. It's it, the concept is so basic, but like once you fundamentally get it down and understand like how to get back to your team, Moira can really pull off some damage. Like especially like you get a room, close spaces, and you start bouncing negative energy ball around. Plus doing your DPS nearly does. Same amount of damage as some of the DPSs out here. You got a relatively high potential DPS put from that support line. Cause... And Moira does a decent amount of damage. They're super mobile. They could, if they really wanted to, they could just your back line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. It's a uh, dive has always been something that frustrates me to no end. Because I <laughs> like this game is all about like teamwork and being like, yeah, let's push together. And then dive, it's like, all right, boys, let's just go kill him. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. To, to be fair, I think dive is the highest skill cap. It truly is. Thing you can do. Because 
Dive is, I think Dive is the only completely disagree with. It's like teamwork, right? But you all set up at different points in the map. Because like a good dive, you're coming from two to three angles with a PC. So normally you'll see like a uh, like a Winston, a Tracer, and then like a Chomber again. Plus an Ana nade. All going towards one. Something like beautiful of it. Yeah, I, I definitely understand what you mean. There's certain characters in get me so fired up. As a character design, my favorite character in the game is Matra ever since so cool like the anti zenyatta yeah 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 i don't know too much about lore but i'm pretty sure um romatra was the one who founded the shambhali group that zenyatta. funny enough i don't know much about over other than the medics and a couple oh yeah i forgot they had the comics too let's see what kind of switches we we've got spartan in for sword playing here they're picking Suravasas. Normally on point maps, you have a comp because having moving around is really good. So you have a Lucio and a Junker Queen. Get into overdrive and get anywhere you want. Right. And it's good for objective too. Like if critical point, whoever touches objective next, basically taking the W. I mean, back pocket. Looks like they're swapping third to tank, though, and they're tank. I'm not sure. Regardless, it should be a decent game. Be interested to see them play the queen. It's like, it's Will's favorite here. It, you got to play the <laughs> Junker Queen at least once. This yes, time. yes. It, it's almost like Saginaw Valley's just mark. You know, it's like. Yeah, Junker like he, he's got yeah. queen this season. Wonder, I, there was like a button. Look at all of them. Because like, I had the widow face. Best of the world. Now that's most of what my profile is, even though I play a lot of support now. Right, right. Yeah, I definitely get what you mean. I, uh... I had a Doomfist kick for a while, so I, I think he's in my top five, even though I barely play him. Like, all the time I had on Doomfist, like, in, um, or in, in, even in two, was just all in a brief period. Like, I just played him and only him for a while, and he still shows up as, like, one of my tops on my account, but I, I barely play yeah, <laughs> I just I just love support. I play a lot of Doom, but I was a lot of Doom. There was so yeah, much his combo game was crazy. The fact that he's a DPS and then you could have tanks on top of having Thanks. Uh, Doomfist. Got so much skill expression. Bounce off roof. I got really, really good at all the Doom decks. I have Doom parkour maps. Which Oh yeah, I I didn't really know how to play Doom or like use well, but I had a group of friends that were really obsessed with a uh, Doom Sumo. Yes, and, uh, Doom Sumo. I, oh man, I got destroyed for so long. <laughs> That's how I learned Doom Fist was Doom Sumo. And yeah, the unfortunate thing is like Q's in Masters Plus and Overwatch, Overwatch One, were just abysmal. I would sit there for like fifteen to twenty minutes in Q. <laughs> I got really good at Doom Parkour in between. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I played a. I, I've played a shameful amount of Genji Ball as well as uh oh my favorite party game of all of them, uh the one shot Cassidy one. Where you yeah, try to where it. I just reload. Yeah, yeah. If like if you hit someone, like it's an instant reload, and if you miss, you gotta like manually do it. I was so good at that one. Okay, okay. It looks like we are gonna see the queen come out. Spartans in on Anna. Don't get to see the. Not unfortunate. Sad, but. Uh, Honestly, I kind of like the switch off though. I like I like the alternate. Oh, but it was kind of cool, you know, just to see him run at the back line and kill. Oh yeah, for sure. I think something that we might have seen here is that our offense has obviously been very on top here. Maybe they've decided, you know, 
Like, we already have enough offense. Get a little bit more utility in here for just a bit more of a balance because they already have enough DPS they could fill in from the spots that they're missing by doing it. So it looks like Azeroth is playing a slightly slower comp with a Roadhog. Um, oh, that's a huge nade! Yeah, no, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's exactly what you want your Ana to do. Um, your Ana hits a nade, and then Geek gets two pretty quick, and that's just the fight over immediately. And on Flashpoint, the capture ticks up so, so fast that not really gonna get more than three especially if you're not playing a lucio right realistically they're gonna get maybe two more good fights here and that's what i was saying earlier about like maps being so dangerous if you don't play as a team because you get how fast those numbers are pushing up and we just hit 30 and the enemy team isn't even here yet yeah um flashpoint ticks up it lives up to its name it goes so so quick we see the symmetra tp come out or a mantra spells use pretty early for Techno Valley, the wall comes out, but it's not super good. Just on a Reaper. Spartan with one. Uh, if he can just keep their queen up, that'll be massive. Uh, big axe from their queen. The wall comes up. It's, the ram's walled. Well, that's some close game. Nice Reaper. with another one. Um, it looks like Sagna's up two right now, and I think they just have to clean up the Ramatra, and that should be the fight. Spartan yep, walled, this unfortunately. Is the focus. But... This is the focus we've been talking about, where... They, they see one person, and if they see him in the open for even a moment, they're like, yo, if we take advantage, instead of just trying to do dogfights, I'll hit this person and take him down in one second and then prioritize what. Yeah, like, um, notice too, it took two fights. They have all of their ultimates. This is huge. The other team's going to make it to this point, have a cement. And Spartan's going to be slow, so they should they should probably play pretty slow. They've got 20 Oh, until the point unlocks, there's not really important that's going to happen before it. But, ooh, it looks like they spotted Spartan. The sleep comes out. Huge, huge, huge. They're using Coalescence and Ramal very early. So this should be a point to Azeroth. Yep. Get a quick 5k, and that's probably the best case scenario. You didn't use ults. Azeroth used two. They're going to get a quick flip, but you have speed, so you back in. Probably two fights here. Right, and they had and they had to give up uh, some of their ultimate stream here, but now our whole team is nearly ready to go packed with all of their alts. Honestly, I think if with the right ultimate usage, we obviously don't need to bomb them all at once. I think we can uptake twice. Got going right now. Yep. Ideally, you'll cycle it too. One. That's huge. And the Kiriko was early in the Suzu, it looks like. So it didn't actually lens much. And two quick picks and a queen ult, and that should be... Point, but it... Over they use a rush, which can be kind of scary, but that's something I like to see though. I like how close Junk and Reaper are getting up in Ramatra's face because they're forcing the aggression to be on them, so the can just sit back and relax while throwing heal. Other Ramatra oh, already that's there that Ramatra is just booking all of the Yeah, that's that's Yuriko Rush. And Ramatra all basically use the Ram ult with Coalescence the fight before, and they just use Ram ult again. That's crazy. Usually you don't see tank ults other than maybe Queen. If she hits a big axe two to three times, it's that's that's your ult right there. Sometimes in Queen Mirrors, you'll see uh, ult built. But yeah, for sure. It's definitely something else seeing tanks get their ultimates first before the rest of the team. I mean, it just shows the dedication of how up front in like, the confrontation that they're willing to go with their team. They wall off the Reaper and Suzu gets used, so it should just be a free fight for Saginaw here. They can pressure at this Symmetra too, that'll be huge. Nice knife. The axe there, and it looks like it could be it, but not quite. Reggie gets one with the Blossom. Reggie gets three wow, with the, the Blossom. Three, yes. So, Nano Blossom here for Saginaw versus a Fall. That's a pretty good trade because uh, they used two the fight before. We used two this one. It's about even. One. Where they decide to fight. Normally, you'll see teams either fight through here or. Fight at the bottom. Uh, right on point. 
Yeah, I see what you mean. I like how they're uh, they're holding the high ground here. They're not exactly just standing on point. They're setting their own positions. Like, hey, we're going to force you to follow by our rules. But right here, they just said, we don't really care. We're just going to push. They want the confrontation. That's what happens. That's unfortunate. The huge queen ult from Will, oh. but that's four ults, I think. Three ults from Azeroth team. 60 to 15. They should get at least another fight. There'll probably be one more fight. The uh, fights are taking a lot longer than the more sustain, I think. I see what you mean. Strategizing a bit here. They're thinking about it, for which is fine. If you're re if you expect to get one more fight, there's no difference from fighting at seventy five or fighting at five or at the forty five that they right sim swap here. They're gonna, it looks like they're going to try and match the teleporter stuff. Dangerously low on a rotation here. E. Reaper's in the back line. Uh, Suzu gets forced. A little dangerous to be in these tunnels here. Moira Orb's coming around. Peek with a quick pick and it Another looks Ramatra like... Another Ramatra ult, Annihilation. It's so tough with the triple piece right there. Then gets Dragon Valley down again. And it looks like it's advantage Nazareth here. Sure, they used a lot of ults, but they get the next point and they might make it to the next one. I think it's going to be... Martin switching back to Zenyatta. Let's go. This is the switch they need. They're going to a Winston comp, which should be strong into a... They just have to play around the Ramatra. Does Hummel kind of just bullies? Out. Reggie gets a first pick. I like the bubble there, allowing the DPS to get some damage in. Reggie with two. I think they're going to focus on the Moira here. He gets Moira, and it's two on two, I think. Hoping to see uh, Spartan pro Discord on uh, Ramatra a little bit more, as we see that Elims have gone up a lot recently and quite deadly here in this fight. First flip goes to Nazareth, but Saginaw should be back quicker. So hopefully if they take a fast fight here, they'll be able to win. They'll still be down one. Suzu comes out early, and the supports are getting pressured down pretty hard. The Coalescence and Primal pops. Spartan goes down, Shakur goes down. Bring them around causing chaos, but fortunately it might not be enough. Here. Uh, one... So, you might be looking at last fight here of the battle. Right, I was going to say, this could be our very final push. I wonder if they'll keep strategy up. Reggie almost gave me a heart attack there. He's 8 <laughs> HP and flying around with the Moira orb bouncing over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like we have EMP coming up and Transcendence. So, yep, however, the, they use these alts is going to decide the rest of the game. Oh, this, this is last fight. Let's see what they decide to do. All right, we get the copy down. Sick, we got the Ramatra. Nice. But the Annihilation comes out in a tight space like this. It might be difficult to get inside. Will with two. But we get the Transcendence here protecting us from an Annihilation. Both support ults are used for Saginaw. Reaper takes down one and dupe. Warrior is low with no fade. Uh, that beam can be... I like the attack on Ramatra. Reaper's Will down. With one. It's a <laughs> tank me tank. Tank me tank for point. Uh, yep, the lightning just goes through. through. That's what I like to see. Sombra came back and helped. Very last second. So, Saginaw has to play perfect from here. They cannot oh, no lose kidding. a fight. Not even one, and that's going to be tough because, I mean, a lot of our alts are really down right now. I mean, Winston might be our hope to just knock some people back and just force ground here. In Winston, we trust. Indeed. <laughs> and we see a Bastion swap come out as well. Yeah, we might need that DPS boost if we're just going to be holding sight because you don't have any other option here, you know? Oop, TP comes in. Well, that's huge. That's really, really bad. Nice. For uh, for Nazareth, that TP there basically let... Into, it was a reverse dive. Huge, huge EMP attack. from Geek. Yeah. That Kiri Rush is scary, but 
the Discord and Ramatra, they should be able to take him out. And... Yep, Kiri falls, and it should just be Ram left. Yep. Yeah, That's what that, I'd like to see. That might basically be the map. Yeah, I, I was definitely on edge for a second. I was a little worried about what we were going to do, but, I mean, they couldn't have executed that better. I think Nazareth just thought, you know what, like, this is their last fight. I mean, all we have to do is maybe they just got a little little bit too much in their heads here. Yep. And and with that, we take the be... point. Did I say map? Hmm? Did I say map earlier? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this puts us at map point. Um, you're relatively even on ultimate. There's two philosophies for playing this last point. Theoretically, it should be a little bit favored towards Nazareth, but whoever gets first take here probably wins. Form comes out early. Kiri's pressured. Order's in front. Getting it low. I like the pressure on Ramatra. As we've seen, Ramatra has been a huge part Ram of the falls. DPS. Let's go. Reggie with the first pick on Ram. Primal comes out on Metra. Nice. Will picks up one, which uh, puts Saginaw at plus two. Zuzu comes out. Yeah, the first slip should go over to Saginaw. Just clean up from this point. Uh, just missed it just by a little bit, which is tragic, but it's okay because I think we're up. up. We're up five at that point. Sombra gets back relatively quickly. I'd rather be down a song. Right. Let's see how Saginaw is right here. I think they should be advantaged now that they got the first first flip because you can kind of just play on that high ground directly above where the Ramatra is. And it's pretty safe for a while. That comes out. Of that hack, virus. Ramatra might be in trouble, but he gets out with the Annihilation to save himself. We got Transcendence to protect us from Annihilation. Double support all, actually, and you see Shakur chasing down the support nice. on the back line. Uh, <laughs> they just got to be careful not to let the flip, let the point flip over. And it looks like they should fight here. Just a ram left. Yeah, Ramatra's a little bit surrounded. I mean, you can't really tell who you're supposed to focus there when you're standing in the middle. I think the best thing he could have done was backed up in one doorway so they block most of the damage possible. Honestly, his best option was probably just die. Like, die as quick <laughs> as possible. Because as is, you're going to get a very, very scuffed fight. Right. Yeah, see, they're just staggering to point one by one. Yep, yeah, they can't group up together because they're he just gets... out of time. So at this point, now we just hold down. They're going to throw all the ults that they have. We just have to contest until it's Ooh. over. Moira gets two. Yeah, that coalescence is really scary in that uh, corner here. And Will, 1v3. Will the new tank for Saginaw. Clutch. He gets wow. two. Both supports too, which means all you have to do is take off the people that are on point. There's nothing holding them back. Oh, that goes back. That's tragic, but still amazing two hits here. Our team is going to be returning before their supports get back. So if we can do one final rush down here without them being able to heal, we might be able to take it. And the other team is stuck on ball, which is fortunate. Ball is not the best right now, especially getting Discord and rolling through. They just ignore the ball and run to point. They can probably just pull up and. And with uh, Spartan's Discord orb, I mean, with the way they've been grouped up together, I think that strategy is still working good. Early hack coming up on Ball. Echo falls early. Good pick by Spartan. The Diva pick is fantastic. I really like Ball this. down and Reaper down too. That's and now all they have to do is just force point. They're going to get flushed out. If they capture, it'll be a win. Yep. That's the map. That is the map. Yeah, I like the Diva swap at the end. It's really, really good into the Ball. Check your Zen, because what you're worried about is Zen getting pile drive and just got. There it is. So if you just put defense major in a cone. Yeah, I think that's real for us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. But, so I guess that evens out. Um, we got real for B team, real for CT. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. all this Ramatra play doesn't surprise me in the least. I mean, I just got to respect how deep this Ramatra has been playing all game. You can tell that he's just super passionate about diving deep you know <laughs> it's, it's so crazy absolutely the ramatra played very very well on that one he was constantly getting picks putting out pressure like he single-handedly won them one of the fountain in the middle of oh, it oh yeah i don't know the names sure. for any of the flashpoint things but the one of the fountain he basically single-handedly won them that and he almost clutched it out on you know it, it scared me more than once where like i had suggest that zen keeps on putting discord on ramatra because you said that Place his defense just as well as his offense and it was 1v3 scenario he had picked off two before going out now ram is really really versatile you can poke with your shield and staff and or you can walk up and punch 
Yeah, that's a three for Saginaw. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I love that. B team. I've seen that. Got a 6 0. All right, um, that's it for Overwatch.